Hi, I'm Joanne Lindenfeld from Vanderbilt University, and I'm pleased to summarize for you today the results of the GUIDE-HF trial. GUIDE-HF trial is hemodynamic guided management of heart failure. It has been known for some time that elevated pulmonary pressures or increasing pulmonary pressure signal impending heart failure hospitalization, and those pressures often occur even before symptoms develop. So if one could measure those pressures and have them transmitted remotely, one could treat the patient and prevent a heart failure hospitalization. Indeed, that's what happened in the previous study, the CardioMEM study, which randomized patients with New York Heart Association class three of all ejection fractions uh, and a previous heart failure hospitalization to hemodynamic guided management using the CardioMEMS device, which is a battery less sensor that is implanted in the pulmonary artery and transmits pulmonary artery pressures against usual care without any pulmonary pressures. The CHAMPION trial demonstrated a reduction in heart failure hospitalizations at six months of 28%. The current study, Guide HF, was designed to expand the population that might benefit from hemodynamic guided management. So in Guide HF, we randomized 1,000 patients after they had successful implantation of the CardioMEMS monitor to either hemodynamic guided management using pulmonary artery pressures or usual care. The first patient was enrolled in March of 2018, and the last follow-up was January of 2021. So as you would note from that, we had a substantial number of our endpoints during the COVID pandemic. In fact, more than 25%. The primary endpoint of Guide HF, which was a composite of all-cause mortality and heart failure hospitalizations plus urgent heart failure visits. And what we found in the overall analysis is while there was a 12% decrease, that was not significant in the overall analysis. But if we just took the time points prior to the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, which we estimated to be March 13th of 2020, because that was when the National U.S. Declaration uh, of COVID Emergency was made. And we saw then a significant reduction in the primary endpoint. Heart failure hospitalizations, again, if we evaluated just the period pre-COVID, pre-March 13th, we noted a marked 28% drop in heart failure hospitalizations. Mortality was not infected, affected, nor were urgent heart failure visits. Now, how did COVID-19 affect the outcomes here? Well, the way it affected the outcomes was to reduce heart failure hospitalizations in the control group. We don't know why. You'll hear more about that later this week when Dr. Mike Zile presents more data. But what we saw was a marked drop in the control hospitaliz heart failure hospitalizations following the onset of the COVID pandemic, which made the groups much closer together and abrogated the beneficial effect that we saw with hemodynamic guided management. So thus, overall, we think taking into account of the COVID epidemic, we believe that Guide HF now um, confirms the, the benefit of hemodynamic guided management in less ill patients, that is patients with New York Heart Association class two, but also patients who just have elevated natriuretic peptides, because that was one of the enrollment criteria was elevation in natriuretic peptides and not a previous heart failure hospitalization alone. So we think this could benefit patients with milder heart failure, that is with New York Heart Association class two in addition to class three, and in both classes, those who have a previous heart failure hospitalization.